Okay, now I move down to the pathway and cover that next. Okay, notice I didn't finish out all these because I'm just using examples at this point. That needs to occur all the way through the formatting of all technical standards. Okay, now for the next one, it's a little bit different. Let me try to get to the top. I do not need this information. Okay? And in fact, the pathway is printing. So I'm not worried about having this Roman numeral here too much. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the Roman numeral also. Okay, now also I need what? I need the fact that these are pathway skills. So a P in this column. Copy it. Drag it all the way down. And paste. Okay. Just as before, I need the separator value. This comes later on why the, I have to put this here. Paste. All right, next. These are cataloged a little bit differently, but not much. I think the hardest part is just like navigating throughout this. There we go. Okay, so now I have a different thing going on. I got copy, paste on the first header, prefix. Whoops. Okay, I also have to do this prefix. That's what differs between the pathway and the technical. And I also have to account for every space in here. So these are spaces taken up that need to be put in with a special character as the underscore. It's kind of hard to explain why I do this until the very end. Again, control C highlighting two fields and control V as in Victor on the keyboard make a pretty good shortcut for this. Uh, here's a subheader right here. No, let's see, 3A. Nope, separate valid. So that. Putting dashes in any spots where there's blanks. And control Cing and control Ving all the prefixes and numerals all the way through. All right, so there's some examples, and that needs to occur all the way down. All right, so now that I gave you that example, let me move on to the foundation skills and show you how they work.